Hey guys, it's Wilsey here, and today I shall be doing my TBR for Nonfiction November. Okay, <laughs> here's my plan for the month of November. I would like to read strictly nonfiction in theory, but I've never done that before, and I feel like that's very ambitious. I tried to do something similar, but with a different genre in... October and it did not work out at all so basically my goal for the month of November is to read as much nonfiction as I possibly can so there are a lot of books here that I'm not saying I'm gonna get to but I have had on my radar and maybe I'll get to them this month maybe I won't what I really want to do is like really do nonfiction November this year I feel like I did it a little bit last year I think I read two or three nonfiction books and I want to read a lot more because I really want to read more nonfiction and I kind of want to set like a new goal or like a new aim for myself whatever you want to call it to read more nonfiction and that's kind of like the whole point of nonfiction November so here we are. The first one that I have is In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. I just know that this is based on true crime, I think. I don't know if I'll be able to get to this. This may be too dense for me this month. Not having an audiobook, I'm not sure, but it has been on my list for a while, so I would like to give it a shot. If not, I'll just add it back to my TBR. The next one is In the Sanctuary of Outcasts by Neil White. This sounds like a very interesting book. This is a memoir based around how he went to prison for federal prison um, for bank fraud. And he ends up in this prison with the last known person that was like disfigured by leprosy. And it basically has some very interesting prisoners there. Sounds really interesting. I don't know. Um, I saw um, Olive over at a book Olive talk about this and she made it sound so interesting. So I added it to my list. And um, again, it's not very long. It also has like pictures in it. So um, I'm very interested. <laughs> to see what this is about. I would like to try to like include the challenges this month, like the word challenges. I could do the word true, which is like true crime, because a lot of these are based on, some of them are based on true crime. I'm not sure if I could manage to do sport. Not quite sure about that. So I'm not really trying, but maybe if I somehow end up managing to fix those words around some books by the end of the month. I'll let you know my wrap up. The next one is Shockaholic by Carrie Fisher. This will be the last memoir that I have left to read by Carrie Fisher. Um, I have read Wish Wishful Drinking and I've also read The Princess Diarist and I enjoyed them both and I am very excited to get to this. I love reading her books. The next one is The Woman Who Would Be King by Cara Cooney. I previously read Cleopatra by Kara Cooney and I really really enjoyed it so I'm excited to read about this and to know more about someone I don't know a lot about. Last physical book that I have that I'm very excited for is Strangers Assume My Girlfriend Is My Nurse by Shane Parkaw. Um, I actually did DNF his first book because I didn't like how he talked about people with mental disabilities or just like neurodivergent people. Um, it was kind of like negative in the way that it was talked about. I hope that's gone from this book. It definitely doesn't come across in his channel at all. Um, I watch him and his girlfriend and I love their channel. I love them. They are so entertaining and um, I think he does a lot of great things and I'm hoping I enjoy this and I hope his work has grown. Another book that I haven't, don't have in person right now, but I really, really, really want to get to, and I'm hoping I'm in the mood for, is Bad Blood by John Carew. Ugh, I want to get to this so bad. <laughs> I've been waiting. I've literally probably been, like, like, keeping this in my vault to save for nonfiction November. There are also a couple of audiobooks on Hoopla that I'll maybe be getting to that are nonfiction. It's kind of just 
we're gonna see what I get to type a month. This is just what I physically have to show you, but maybe you'll be surprised. And I'll have read things not on my physical TBR, but this isn't like a set in stone TBR. This is just some books that I've had on my radar that maybe I'll get to in November. That's some of the books that maybe I'll be reading in November. Um, again, I do have a couple of audiobooks that maybe I'll be getting to. Maybe I can get a couple of these as audiobooks. Maybe, hopefully, that would help me out a lot. Let me know down below if you're planning on participating in Nonfiction November. I'm really putting my all in this year. I'm really excited. Some of these I have seen from Olive's channel herself, and I love Olive. She is so interesting. I love hearing her talk, and I think she is so eloquent. And I just, I will watch reviews and videos of hers of books that I probably won't ever read, but I just love hearing her talk about them. <laughs> and she's really the type of booktuber that I watch that I think um, kind of is like changing my reading a little bit and like helping me branch out. A lot of booktubers I watch, I feel like motivate me to change how I read and she's one of them. I will link either her TBR video down below or her announcement video down below, but um, there is also a Twitter. Um, again, there is no like strict guidelines. It's not like you need to read a certain amount and you need to complete these challenges, you need to do this, that, and the other thing. Um, if you read one nonfiction book, then you're participating in Nonfiction November. It's basically just to get people to read more nonfiction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I shall see you in the next one. Bye.